To the 9 a.m., we've moved into the Web Center where we're hanging out with Joe Militer. Hello, Joe. How you doing, man? Doing okay. How you doing? Doing well. Doing well. Happy Friday. What, what's trending today on Fox 2 Now? Well, we got ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> you do have ice cream. We have ice cream, and Blue Bell is going to start launching here in St. Louis, and they're doing it with some style. Uh, yesterday, they announced that they're going to be launching uh, their ice cream um, brand at a lot of grocery stores starting Monday. Uh, as some of them starting, yeah, and, and starting Monday, and uh, they have a new flavor, and it's uh, gooey butter cake. Of you course. Can get, yeah, of course. Yes. I can't imagine a better uh, St. Louis style ice cream flavor. I grew up on Blue Bell, Fort Worth, Texas, so yeah. Yeah, I, yeah. People really into it. In Texas, they don't eat ice cream; they eat Blue Bell. Huh. <laughs> That's yeah. pretty much yeah. Yeah, they've got a 16,000 foot uh, uh, storage facility out here in St. Peter, so I'm surprised it hasn't really been here sooner. Yeah, right. And um, yeah, and so you can start buying it Monday, and um, yeah, get ready. Because, it's coming. Uh, you're going to celebrate. <laughs> It's a coming. It's a coming. And talking about things that are coming, it's uh, St. Patrick's weekend. I think we've talked about this a little yes. bit on air. Yes. Um, but yeah, we've got two humongous parades to look forward to this weekend. We've got all the information for you on fox2now.com. Uh, the first parade is Saturday at noon. It's the downtown parade. It's yeah. one of the biggest parades in St. Louis. For sure. In that big downtown setting with the arch and all of it, it's really uh, pretty. And um, and then on Sunday we've got uh, the Dogtown Parade that starts at 11. Um, both parades got have food, fun, dancing, all the rest. So it's, it's interesting when the when St. Patrick's Day falls on a weekend. It is. Yeah. It is. I was wondering, well, you know, how is this going to work out? And just that Dogtown Parade is always on St. Patrick's Day. Yeah. And it's always huge uh, you know big big party in the little space and uh yeah it's they bring a it. lot of people to show up to that especially Absolutely. since it's on a weekend yeah <laughs> it's gonna be huge so yeah and talking about another weekend thing you know we're, we're uh, coming to one of the last uh, fridays at, uh, in lent it's true and so uh we have the fish fry finder up for your uh maybe you've gone to a fish fry maybe you want to try a new one we've got a whole map a directory Hundreds of fish fries in the area. There's some great ones out there. Yeah. Really good. Yeah, a lot of them do, are doing unique things to attract people. They've got unique flavors uh, to try, not the same old, same old. So I would definitely try to look at our, our map. Yeah, get on that map. Yeah. Find that fish fry. Find that fish fry. Get them while they're here. Yeah. So I got one more thing. Give it to we've me. Got time. Yeah. Uh, we've got time. We got a little bit of sad news. Okay. We should all be aware of. Um, one of the reasons I'm so positive about St. Louis is because I want people to know that uh, the St. Louis metro has been shrinking. And so it's a little, it's smaller now than Charlotte, Charlotte and Orlando. Really? It's a big problem in the area. Um, they just passed us. Uh, census uh, figures for both uh, metros uh, now said they exceed 2.8 million people. And um, wow. yeah, they're getting any annual increases of 50,000 to 100,000 people. And that's been happening since 2020. And since 2020, the St. Louis area has lost about 25,000 people. Wow. So Does that uh, coincide with businesses leaving as well? Yeah. Yeah. A lot of businesses and, yeah, a lot of uh, moving. As you notice, those uh, areas are um, a little bit south of us, and there's a lot, a lot of people moving a bit south as uh, the you know, population ages and things like that. There so, you go. Yeah. All right, that is a concern. Yeah, it is a big concern. And uh, I always try to be positive and hopefully attract more people to the St. Louis area. I'll Come on. It's a great place. We're going to be singing its praises. We had 314 Day yesterday. Yeah, that's right. Hey, keep it right here. we got more coming your way. It's the 9 a.m. Stay with us. Thank you, Joe. Thanks, man. You bet.